and there's a late scratch. Gadi Kinda was slated to start. He did not pass a fitness test. And that one change was Jackson Yule, who was out through suspension. He's now back straight into the starting lineup. Picture perfect night here in yeah. Kansas City. Well, let's try this again, shall we? Away we go. Second time of asking. This season so far, Jamie, we've had three different goalkeepers who've all played more than five starts. It's probably Kansas City. They've got Melia back. And now they've got Russell delivering. Oh, yes! Shall we? With the final touch. And Sporting are off to a sprinting start yet again. One of the quickest starting teams in the whole league. Staying true to form. Sees a teasing ball from Johnny Russell, and this puts Rodriguez in an in-between spot. Does he go to Polito? Shallow, he cuts across the capo, and it's just an exquisite pass from Johnny Russell. The run from Polito draws the attention from the center back. Beeson shifted over. He gave a little look and a communication to Rodriguez, but he gets caught in between the two. And Shallowy from the far side of the front three. Fontas with good anticipation to pick it back up. Earthquakes on the rack here defensively. Voltaire from distance! Well, I'm not sure if Daniel got a piece of it. The crossbar certainly did, but I think Daniel will be credited with the save. Good sustained pressure in the final third, and as this comes off, left foot of Voltaire, it's... Espinosa, that was clever. Skipping away from Fontas and holding off Tommy for now. Espinosa's long run to the byline finds Montero and Cal mishits it. Or if he tries to open it up and go with the inside of his foot and he ends up doing about 50% of each and he gets it 100% wrong. Front three combining. SKC Polito. Working his way through. Crowd Polito got the shot away. Good work from Polito in tight spaces. Just keeping his head up. He tries to find Shallowy and ultimately finds himself in a. Polito to Russell. All a little tight, but here's Tommy providing an outlet. Getting back into traffic. Russell. Oh, it's lovely. Johnny Russell! Ankle, what ankle! He doesn't feel pain, and it's nothing but pleasure for the sporty Kansas City fans who do double their advantage here. Johnny Russell has taken this first half by the scruff of the neck. And as he picks this up, he has one thing on his mind. He just opens up the left, and Rodriguez respects the left so much that he bites at this little fake. And then from there, Montero has to let him go so he doesn't commit the foul. A fortuitous bounce off of Beeson's trailing foot, but it's just the decisive nature. The cheeky little Meg from the Scotsman. The man who provided an assist three minutes in, had a nasty rolled ankle five minutes in. Now 43 minutes in. Yeah. Scored six goals for them in 22 appearances back in the uh, 2021 season. As, uh, the earthquake's threatened again, and Tim Melia having to come up with a save. A capo with a quick combination play. This is a delightful ball from Montero. He's just gonna stab at the ground because he knows there's gonna be enough spin. We try to get San Jose above the home playoff line. Hello. Yeah. Hello. As Tommy works his way forward, oh, rips one! Eric Tommy, ambitious and delicious. How about that from the German? And that could be very much the icing on the three points for Sporting Kansas City. Mission to the lineup after Gadi Kinder goes out through injury. Eric Tommy takes this, and with no real pressure from the substitute, Marie Rodriguez drops back. Tommy says from 20 yards out, this is no problem. Nice technique, nice execution, and a very nice exclamation point to a dominant performance from Sporting Kansas City. My goodness, Eric Tommy. There's Polito. Oh, it's lovely. Alan Polito! Oh, everything except the finish. Don't beat me while. Good angle. 
single ball. And Skehan trying to make something of it and very nearly did. Uh, probably wouldn't have been much more on the consolation, Jack Skehan. This touch from Jack Skehan between two defenders to bring it down and it's got enough curl. Understanding that it's approaching the 90th minute of a 3-0 game. Skayen showing his moves again, going down, and that's a penalty. So San Jose will have a chance to spoil the clean sheet of Tim Melius. Wanted his team to close this out. Yeah, watch the trailing leg of Ndenbe. It's going to get in between Jack Skayen, and it's going to catch him. This is absolutely the right call. The left leg of Skayen is on the ground. You'll see the point of contact. There it is, Skayen with a good bit of skill. And Denbe clumsy in the challenge. He's just trying to reach his arm across. Can he do it again? It's Guerrero to try and beat him, and he can't! Melia does do it again! Well, welcome back, Sporting Kansas City's number one. And what a capper on the night. A brilliant night for the home team. Not Guerrero's best penalty he's ever taken. No deception, not going to send the goalkeeper the wrong way. Giannis. Tommy. Giannis measuring it up and rattling the crossbar. We've seen some fine efforts from distance tonight. Yeah, no pressure. Giannis has all the time in the world to pick out the far post. It's a courtesy dive from Danielle. He's never going to get there if this sneaks under the cross. I just said publicly it wasn't must win. But the team played like it certainly was. And the result is evident. Johnny Russell, the star of the show in the first half. Eric Tommy.